Let's back the speckle. <laughs> God's mercy said no. Sometimes we don't know what we're getting ourselves into because we can't see no further than what's in front of us. We want stuff to happen in our lives, but when stuff not really working out, we become impatient. And that's when we start making dangerous decisions because we begin to settle for what's comfortable or convenient at the time. And that's why God's mercy said no. In Lamentations 3 verse 22 it say, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Comfortability isn't always best for us because that's what keep us connected to the sins we struggle with at times. And the longer you be around bad influence, the harder it becomes to let go of bad habits due to convenience. Whenever you have easy access to something that's bad, it will always affect you in the long run. That's why it was God's mercy that caused that no to be in your life. Because sometimes what we want to do in life isn't what the Heavenly Father wants to do for our life. Quick example, we can be hanging with the wrong crowd of people. In situations like that, God's mercy will say no to our success and delay our blessings in order to preserve our lives. Because we could be trying to share our success with the wrong people. So to prevent this from happening, God will separate us from them because he saw the impact that they will leave on your life. So it was God's mercy that said, no, they can't come with you because if they did, they will hinder your spiritual growth that you have in Christ. Every time the Heavenly Father keep us from something or someone is for our protection. The enemy tried to destroy you. God said, no, they can't have you. You almost got that job promotion. God said, no, I got a better one for you. You wanted that relationship to work out. God said, the moment you let go, eventually he will give you someone that makes you happy, that won't come in between the relationship you have with him. And both of y'all will continue to grow in Christ and love. See, the power of God's mercy is what keep us from self-destruction. We want to rush everything, especially when life is hitting hard. But the reason why the Heavenly Father don't release everything he wants you to have in your life right at the start is because you may think you're ready, but the Heavenly Father sees how this will affect your life in the future. That's why he requires us to have patience because he see you overwhelmed with abundance. He sees you panicking. He sees how this will affect your life in the days to come. But at the moment you feel like you're ready, you're ready for all this. So when you wait on God's timing, He's building you up in the spiritual realm. He's building you up in the ways in ways that you can't see. So that's why God's mercy said no. That's why God's mercy delayed the blessing for correction to get you right. See, God required us to put full trust in him because it's easy for us to mess up our lives. So to bring this to a close, that's why I also want to say that's why we're covered by grace as well. The words say in Hebrews 4, verse 16, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Let the Heavenly Father be all that you need in this world. Because through Lord Jesus, that's how we find grace and mercy. And the only reason why God's mercy said no when you was hoping for a yes, because he has something better for your life if you wait on his timing. I know sometimes this is hard to accept, but trust me, I once felt just like you. And it took me a while to get to a better place in life. But through the patience of God's word, he eventually led me to a better destination in life that I thought was impossible at one point in time. God's mercy said no to save your life through Lord Jesus. So keep trusting in his plan because his plan will always be better than ours exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever think or ask. Keep trusting in God. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.
<laughs> Why do you keep doing it? Oh, you gotta drop it. I don't want to hold it. I don't want to hold it. <laughs> there you go. 